So we've had the names Chris Mepham and Bournemouth close together for a long time and finally they're now together and you, you sign on the dotted line. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, I'm delighted to be here. Like you said, it has taken a long time to get a signature on the dotted line, but like I said, it's been worth the wait and for me, I'm delighted to be here and I can't wait to start um, training tomorrow with the boys and seeing all new faces. And of course, from our perspective as fans and working at the club, we, we see the link and we're sort of hoping it's going to happen. What's it like as, from the players' perspective, potentially moving or maybe not? Yeah, it's hard. It's been a lot of back and forth between the two clubs. And um, obviously, two windows now, Bournemouth have tried to come in for me and um, Brentford weren't really in the position to let me go. And this time it seems like it was more likely to happen than not. Um, like I said, I didn't want to get ahead of myself until it finally happened and I got a phone call from my agents uh, y yesterday sort of telling me that the medical was going to be today and hopefully if I pass the medical then I'll sign, sign on the paper and that's what's happened. So like I said, I'm really, really pleased that it's finally happened. And there's other clubs who've had their names mentioned alongside yours. Was Bournemouth the only, the only place you ever wanted to come? Yeah, genuinely. Um, I think they was there the first window, um, so after I, I played I think eight or nine games for Brentford, they was the team that was linked to me and I think because they were the first team and there's a lot to like about the club obviously, Eddie Howe's a great manager and what he's done here is massive. Um, so to be working under him um, is going to be really good and yeah, I like the sort of family feel to the club um, and yeah, like I said, after they came in the first time and then obviously shown interest last time, they've been very persistent with it and for me I can take a lot away from that and sort of fills me with confidence that they feel like I'm the right player for the football club. You've made nearly 50 appearances for Brentford in the first team. What have you sort of learnt in that time and, and to prepare you for, for the next challenge here with us? Yeah, I think it's, I've learnt a lot of my time at Brentford. Obviously, I'm still quite young, so I'm still developing, trying to learn and improve different aspects of my game. But definitely, Brentford gave me the platform to go on and play first team football, which I must admit, not too long ago, I weren't really expecting. Um, Luckily, I got the opportunity under Dean Smith and made my debut and then went on to play pretty much second half of last season and then obviously first half of this season played um, pretty much every game. So I'm definitely learning with experience and, and like I said, I think I can bring some sort of experience to this level. I know it's going to be really hard and the step up is going to be difficult, but um, I back myself and I like to think I'm a hard working lad, so hopefully I sort of adapt quite quickly. And there are a few links with yourself here already. Of course, you've got David Brooks with you, a Welsh international teammate. Dominic Solanke, another new signing who's not yet played for us, who's, who you know from your time at Chelsea. And I believe you spoke to David Brooks before you came down here. Yeah, I did. Um, obviously, I know David well now from the last couple of camps with Wales. And Dominic, I played with all through the younger age groups at Chelsea. So it's good to know both of them. And I dropped Brooks here text and sort of said, if you don't mind, give me a phone call and sort of speak more about the club itself. And... And he was really complimentary of the place. He said it's a great place to learn and the training's really intense and um, it's a really tight group. And there's, like I said, that family feel to the club, which after I met um, Eddie and obviously came to the training grounds, got that feel, which is important for me. Um, and like I said, it's good to have familiar faces um, that I'd recognise when I go into train tomorrow. And you mentioned Eddie there, of course. We've got a particular style here at AFC Bournemouth. How do you fit into that style, do you think? Yeah, I mean, when I visited the training ground, Eddie done a presentation on um, the, the way the club plays and um, the important attributes that they look for. And there was two main ones. They like to play um, high-pressing football um, and also possession-based football, which is what I'm used to at Brentford. Um, when I was at Brentford, very much want to dominate possession and keep, keep hold of the football. And I feel like my attributes allow me to do that. Um, so yeah, I think I fit quite nicely and obviously, like I said, it's going to be hard with the jump to the Premier League, but I'm more than, more than willing to give it a go. And how ready do you feel for that? You've made a lot of jumps already. You've made the jump into the first team at Brentford, the jump into the first team with Wales. How ready do you feel that, that big jump into the Premier League? Yeah, it's probably going to be the biggest one of them all. Um, and I do feel, feel ready for it. Uh, definitely this time I was more keen to sort of push to make the, the deal go through because I think everyone's aspirations to play in the Premier League and having another opportunity to do so, I just had to take with both hands and like I said, time will tell how ready I am, but I can't wait to get started. And you've got that chance now, how excited are you to try and take it? Yeah, exactly. I think every time I've been presented with an opportunity, I like to think that I've taken it well and sort of taken it in my stride, whether that be promote to the first team at Brentford, um, 
full debut and senior team debut for Wales. Um, so this is another opportunity which I'm looking forward to hopefully taking.